Alright, what's up guys? In today's video I just want to share a bit about one of the weirdest dreams I've ever had. And this was a dream I had a while ago. I entitled the blog post I wrote about this, Lucid Transcendence. And the reason for that is that I feel like it was an experience in which I transcended what I had known and what I was aware of was, you know, reality and what I thought could happen, what I thought was possible. Especially in a lucid dream at least. So the dream starts off, you know, I'm doing normal things, um, walking around I think it was, and I suddenly become lucid and I start flying around. I start, you know, playing around with the dream scene and manipulating things. I start, for example, holding out my hand and a thing I like to do in lucid dreams is I'll hold up my hand and I'll sort of imagine something growing or manifesting in my hand. In this case I was imagining a plant growing in my hand for whatever reason, I don't know. And uh, it got to the point where I was in a desert, okay, so I was I was in a desert and I was playing around. There are other sections to this dream by the way, there are other sort of chapters, but I'm just telling you, you know, the bits I remember right now and the what I think are the important parts, right? So I'm playing around with this stuff in the desert and I'm playing around with making plants grow in the desert, like instantly. So imagine that you're in a desert and you're just looking around and then you command a forest to grow. But it's not instant, it obviously takes a few seconds for the plants and trees to sprout from the ground. So I'm playing around with that and that's kind of cool, that's like, that's a bit of fun. And that's just me testing, you know, how lucid I am, you know, what level of awareness and control I have. And really just sort of letting, letting off some steam and, you know, playing. I'm being creative and I'm just being playful, right? That's when it starts to get weird, okay? Now, what happens next is I, I'm transported to this place, uh, bear in mind I'm lucid at this point, right? I'm transported to this place where there are skyscrapers. I'm flown to the top of a skyscraper. I can't remember if I flew there myself or if I was just taken there. But I was completely lucid and I was completely aware of everything and in control. Or so I thought, right? So I'm at the top of this skyscraper and this other character comes along and starts flying and, you know, levitating and moving objects around with his mind. And obviously, one of my favourite things to do in a lucid dream is use telekinesis. I like to make objects move around without touching them, right? Sorry, we lost battery on the camera there. So, like I was saying, I'm at the top of this skyscraper, right? I'm just, I'm lucid, I'm in control. And this other dream character comes along and starts playing with telekinesis also, right? Which, and I, I remember feeling really weird at the time. I was thinking like, this is my thing. That's my skill that I like to play around with in the dream. And I almost felt a bit jealous or a bit sort of competitive with this dream character, even though really he was created by my subconscious mind, which was also creating the dream that I knew as well and creating me the dreamer. So it was a weird experience, right? Because as far as I'm aware, at that point, as far as I was aware, the dream was entirely in my own subconscious mind, and I'm pretty sure it still is, right? But it felt like I was talking to something different to myself. It felt like I was talking to something different to my subconscious mind, even, because I'd spoken to my subconscious before in other dream, dream experiences with, with other dream characters. This felt a lot different, okay? This, this felt completely new. And it was a weird, it was a very weird, unique experience in which I was talking to this dream character who was obviously part of my subconscious mind, but he was talking in a way that he knew about the dream and he knew that I was lucid. And he said something along the lines of, you know, you don't really belong here and you're, you know, messing around with things you don't understand here. And this was scary for me because I hadn't been a lucid dreamer for very long at this point, you know. I'd only been doing it for about a year or two and I really didn't understand it all as well, as well as I do now and I didn't know what to expect and you know it was a kind of a new weird experience for me. So this, this guy says you know you don't belong here you're messing around with things you don't understand and I'm thinking what, what do you mean because I'm the lucid dreamer I'm in control here and so as a sort of retaliation as a sort of snap uh, lash, lashing out sort of effect I tried to throw an object at him with my mind using telekinesis and he just sort of deflected it with his telekinesis and it, it became sort of like something from a movie scene, right? It was very strange. Anyway, that's not even the weirdest part. So the next thing that happens is I get injected with some sort of tranquilizer, at least it felt like that, by someone from behind me. So I get injected in the shoulder by some tranquilizer thing, 
The next thing I know, I wake up laying on my back in the desert with nothing around me, no dream characters around me. The other guy had disappeared now. There was no one there, just me. And obviously I was still completely lucid at this point. I remember thinking I must be about to wake up, you know, because that was quite intense. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure my alarm's gonna go off in a minute and I'm gonna have to get ready for work or whatever, whatever I was doing at the time. But I didn't, and I just stayed in the dream and I stayed there. And it felt like forever. So I'm laying there and then suddenly I start rising up from the desert floor. I start lifting, without trying to by the way, this was, uh, this was unintentional. This was not me deciding to do this. So I start rising up from the desert uh, surface and I start feeling intense spurts of emotion and feeling everywhere. I start feeling like intensely happy suddenly and then intensely sad, but not separate to one another. These feelings happened exactly at the same time almost like a burst of everything at the same time. So imagine the last time that you were like intensely happy and then now imagine the last time you were really angry. All, imagine all of the feelings that you can experience, the whole spectrum of emotions, right? But now imagine that you're experiencing them all at the same time in like short bursts. That's what was happening. And it felt really profound and, and different and unique and I just didn't know how to explain it. It was a very weird experience and it's, yeah, it was probably one of the most intense, profound lucid dreams I've ever had. Because the whole way through this process, I was lucid and aware. I knew I was dreaming, and I, at least for most of the dream, I thought I could control it. Anyway, this is an example of how your subconscious mind can always surprise you. You never really know the whole story, okay? It's sort of the unknown or the shadow, not meaning that it's dark or evil, but more meaning that you just don't really understand it or you haven't really become aware of everything yet. So that's, that's it guys, I just wanted to share this dream with you, it's a very, a very intense, it's quite a special dream to me as well. Um, and I'll always look back on this as you know, one of the first intense lucid dreams I've had. Uh, that's why it's called Lucid Transcendence, because I feel like I sort of rose above the dream scene. And uh, I forgot to say, when I had finished experiencing the emotions, the sort of crescendo led up to me obviously floating above the desert and then everything going white. I just couldn't see anything, I could just see pure white light. But it wasn't like a blinding light, it was more like illuminating in, in the sense that I could just see and feel everything. And I experienced that, uh, that sensation for a good few minutes, it felt like ages. And then I woke up, and I woke up not in a panicked, sort of rushed way. I woke up feeling really relaxed and sort of enlightened and almost brand new, you know, it felt like I had just woken up after my first lucid dream, which was obviously another really intense experience for me. So anyway, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. Maybe this is some sort of inspiration to, you know, push the boundaries and just see what you can do with lucid dreaming, see where you can go and what you can explore. Done.